Douglas and such thing. And uh, in your work, you create a story, and a particularly fascinating story was uh, that of Helena's. Um, can you elaborate on that? Stories that really um, drive me as an individual, not drive the team, are those stories whereby we're helping to change perception and change the way people see it. Well. Mental health is one of those subjects that there is a, a, a massive paradigm shift in um, people's willingness to open up and to speak about it. Um, mental health is a subject, um, something that I have not personally experienced and don't yet suffer from, but maybe in the future. I have loved ones, friends, team members of a leader um, who do struggle with mental health and mental illness. So this story um, with Helen there was a vehicle to help me understand, but then also to help others um, around me also understand and, and be able to have um, a real hope um, that they can overcome it. So the story of Helena, an amazing freediver um, who struggled with life to the point where she um, was suicidal and considered taking her own life, but through the action of freediving um, and also her change in her own mental state, um, she drove herself um, to be able to not, over, not only just overcome mental illness, but also succeed on a level that most human beings are not being able to do. Um, very moving, um, very powerful. It's a project that I, myself and the team personally invested in. Um, and it's been really great to see that so well received online and played recently uh, in uh, all over Europe uh, with the uh, TV network RTL. Uh, it's a very powerful story. It's uh, yeah, very moving. Um, if somebody's inspired by this and wanted to be uh, themselves a videographer, what would you say to them? Um, I think the most important thing is um, understanding that often that drive and that you have is to just create and maybe just to tell stories. Uh, things like video and photography and virtual reality, they are mediums to be able to do that. Um, I think the, the, the key thing is just to get out there and to create. If it's video that you're interested in, shoot and create. Also, think of yourself as more than a videographer. I don't count myself as a videographer. In fact, the, the term I tend to use is a storyteller. But I don't just count myself as a storyteller. I feel right, I'm a storyteller who's focused on driving change. Um, that changes your perception and it changes um, the way you see the work that you do and it changes the creative decisions that you make. Um, so don't focus on yourself being a technician, but really focus on the power um, that you have by using a medium like creative videos and understand the power that you have to be able to um, drive and engage with it. And if you just enjoy it for passion, um, appreciate um, its value. Fantastic. And uh, what equipment should they start out with? Just a camera and a um, in, the, in this day and age, the, the, the device that most people have in their, in their hand is a mobile phone. It is a great way to start. Uh, you know, nowadays you can look at the way uh, young people um, live their lives. They are documenting their lives as they go, um, sharing on social media. I mean, look at the terms that we use on social media: Facebook stories, Instagram stories. In in a way, everyone has become a storyteller. So mobile phones are that first point. However, in a world whereby everyone, in a way, is to a certain extent, certain extent, a storyteller, to really start to be able to craft story, um, sometimes um, a, an entry level camera can do the trick. But for me, technology is not the most important thing. The the story and the basic principles that you use in order to be able to drive the story. Um, start with whatever happens. You have. Uh, and get creative. In time, you will then realise the limitations and the restrictions of the device you're using. And that's when you know that it's time to invest. Right, yeah, right. And what was the thing that first interested you? Um, I, for me, there was something about looking down the barrel of the lens and, and hunting the moment. Um, I think like a, a lot of young, uh, for me, young men growing up, you, you, they grow up playing shoot em ups in the playground. And I remember growing up um, with my cultural and religious background, running around pretending to shoot people dead was not an activity that I was able to get involved in. Um, however, that punishment feel for 
still something that was instinct. And I think there's a level of instinct. You know, man has grown up over since the beginning of time and in some ways hunting. Right? And when I looked down the lens and I was seeing the scope, I was now just hunting the moment. So instinctively, I love putting that long lens on and seeing that moment and bam, bam, I've got it, bam, bam, I've got it. Yeah. And then afterwards, after that, that's where I started to realise, great, I've got individual moments. They're powerful, but what becomes even more powerful is when you can take a series of shots, join them together and amplify and, and, and being able to tell an even greater story. Fantastic, yeah, absolutely. And if people want to know more information, uh, what's your website? So, um, on most social media, you can find me as Simeon Quarry, which I will spell S I M E O N Q U A L R I E. Um, I'm sure you'll leave a name in there if you post. Um, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, uh, social media, and the best is just called Mazida. Um, I'm, 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 I'm really open to discussion. Uh, generally, I try to respond to every message where I can. Um, so if anyone has questions, thoughts, to chat, I tend to be the person that's approachable and Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for uh, chatting today. Thank you. Good to see you. If you like the uh, video, then please uh, like the video and uh, please subscribe as well for future films. Thank you.